Packing the mail, it's gone. Uh, Shit, like I smell cologne. Yeah, I just signed a deal, I'm on. Yeah, yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is finally an updated foundation routine showing you guys what I have been doing for like my everyday looks, like my go-to. Honestly, this is what I do every day. The only thing that changes throughout this look is the eye makeup, the lashes, and my lip color, obviously depending on, you know, what I'm wearing, the color I'm wearing, the event or the occasion of where I'm going. But for the most part, everything else is like staple products that I use all the time that just have been working so well for my skin. I am still wearing the same foundation that I was wearing this winter and I actually did film this look like a month ago when my hair was in the, the blonde ombre bob. However, I edited the whole video and I hated it. I just me being a perfectionist. I'm also going to be showing you guys how I prep my skin for makeup because I think by now we know it's not just all about makeup. I mean skin is actually even more important because that is going to give you the that's gonna that's it's the foundation before the actual foundation it's the base it's the base before you apply everything onto you know your canvas so for those of you that are wondering what my skin type is I am honestly I'm a combination but I'm mostly dry everywhere is dry except for my nose area and like right here that's where I start to get oily first and throughout the day even like five six hours in for sure it's oily everything else is like still matte Never used to be like that, but of course, you know, as you get older, weather, environment, what you eat, all these other factors determine, you know, your skin. It changes all the time. So this is what has been working for the current state that my skin and skin type is in and going through. Although majority of the areas on my face are dry, your girl still likes a matte finish, okay? But matte doesn't always necessarily have to mean dry. My matte does not mean dry. Okay, I don't like cakey, I don't like dry or just, you know, I still like for my skin to look very nice and flawless and matte, yes, but I still need some radiance, I need some glow, I still need this to look like skin, matte skin, you know. If you guys want to see my current foundation routine and all the products that I have been using and loving, then just keep watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel also, if you haven't already. <laughs> but yeah, let's go ahead and get into this video. So obviously before getting on camera, I did already cleanse my skin. To be honest, I slept in my makeup last night and I'm not proud of it. But, I mean, it is my fault, obviously, because I slept in it. But I went to my mom's last night for dinner, and I don't know what it was, but I was way too tired to drive home. Like, I was, like, I usually I, you know, it, honestly, I know you guys don't care. But as a result, like, I was that tired that I just fell asleep in the couch with my MacBook on my lap and everything. Like, that's literally how I slept the whole night until, like, 7 a.m. this morning, which is also why I woke up early this morning. But anyways... I hate the feeling of sleeping in makeup. My, like, I mean, it's not good for your skin either. My skin felt so disgusting, so clogged. I just felt so, honestly guys, I felt really, really freaking dirty. And when it comes to my skincare, I typically do face masks about two to three times a week, depending on how often I wear wake up, wake up. <laughs> depending on how often I wear makeup within that week, if I'm filming a lot or going out a lot, then I'm definitely doing it three times a week. But if I don't know, out of, the, out of the seven days, I'm only wearing makeup about two, three days, then I'll do two days a week. Anytime I fall asleep in my makeup, I have to do a face mask. So that brings us to right here today. Today is the day for me to do a face mask. Besides that, my skin... She, honestly, I know a lot of you guys say I have perfect skin. I don't have perfect skin. For the most part, I have really good skin. I'm not going to lie, I have really good skin. However, when I'm stressed and I'm... I'm, I'm not, no, I'm, I'm stressed. <laughs> I'm stressed though. I'm a little bit stressed right now. I tend to just, naturally, I'm somebody that gets quite, you know, a bit anxious and stressed out when I have a lot on my plate in terms of work. I'm blessed, of course. But with that, obviously, workload and deadlines and just a lot of things going on with work and my personal life, I just tend to get very anxious. And as a result, you know, your skin starts to act up. I break out. Thankfully, you know, I don't really, I don't really get acne like that, but I do break out, let me tell you. And also, anytime it's the time of the month, which I just finished, I start to break out. And I start noticing that my skin, even though, you know, my skin is still considered good, I know what my true skin looks like. So I do start to notice when it's not its natural self. So when it's not as glowy, when it's just looking dull and just like bland, um, 
yeah but as of recently i have really been loving this team meat detox mask this one has matcha lemongrass and clay in it i really really love the smell i was gonna say i love this mask i do love this mask but i love the smell um i'm a very like citrusy lemon anything kind of person honestly and also i love clay masks because it pulls everything right out oh i forgot my little brush i use a brush to apply my mask so i will be right back <laughs> no but seriously guys don't sleep in your makeup i'm praying i don't start to break out as i did mention this is a clay mask so this is really good at pulling out and cleaning your pores and i know with some masks i mean you typically need to use them a few times before you start to see any sort of visual difference or visual results but to be honest the first time i used this mask i actually saw a difference in my skin it was more glowy and my skin just felt so much more hydrated and refreshed i actually love using any type of skincare or face masks with any type of citrus in it i find that citrus well not even i find that it's a proven fact you guys know anything with like citrus like you know lemons limes they're used for brightening your skin and you know clearing it up okay i think i'm good i'm also gonna apply some to my neck i'm gonna leave this on for 10 to 15 minutes and drink some tea eat some more banana bread and have these clementines <laughs> and um it is as you guys can see it is drying i know with a lot of detox or clay masks they tend to make your skin feel drier of course because they're made to pull out your pores dirt and oil and things like that but this one actually doesn't make my skin feel too dry so i really like that as well and most importantly it is suitable for all skin types especially my dry and sensitive people i'm dry and sensitive so this is like perfect for me and also there is a cooling sensation which i don't know about you guys or most of you guys but i love a mask that i can feel any type of tingling or cooling sensation because that just gives you confirmation that it's working and it's doing what it says it does for your skin so i just want to show you guys what it looks like fully dry and i love seeing this is my problem area okay my nose gets super oily i can see like the little oil spots on my nose so i like seeing that the mask you know pulling out some of those oils and especially the dirt all right so i'm back my face is nice and cleansed my skin feels so clean right now i'm so happy because i felt so disgusting before anyways i'm gonna go ahead and tone my skin this is not a full out skincare routine but i mean like i might as well show you guys um what i'm doing you know might as well so i'm using the thayer's witch hazel facial toner you guys know this is nothing new to me i've been using witch hazel for years i can't live without it this definitely helps with like my scarring that you guys see my skin was on not even 10 my skin was on 20 like my skin was so glowy and then i got my period and that's when this happened and then i was stressing and then it left a scar and then i was like bruh <laughs> i was so mad because i barely got to enjoy my you know my nice skin from that facial but the next product i'm gonna go in with is this truth serum from ula henriksen i have been using this religiously don't watch my nails <laughs> for the past i want to say like two months honestly it's been a while now i love this stuff love it this is the truth product line from ula and this product line has citrus in it as you guys know citrus is really good for brightening your skin and getting rid of like scars and just just the overall like a clearer appearance on your skin which i just love the next product i'm going to use is moisturizer so this is the c rush brightening gel cream obviously from the same line this has three sources of vitamin c and rose of winter extract and yeah i'm gonna go ahead and apply that I almost forgot to mention that this little headband on my head is actually from Teeny as well. I got it when I got the face mask in the mail. I forgot to tell you guys, honestly, because I've been using it, so it's not really like, you know, like, I'm so used to wearing it. I'm going to go in with the Banana Bright Eye Cream from Ula as well. I'm going to go in with the Banana Bright Face Primer and just prime my skin. I love this because it makes your skin so nice and glowy underneath your makeup. If you're going for that, not even just every day, but if you're going for a glowy base, this is perfect. 
Look how nice and glowy my skin is looking. For my brows, this has been my combo lately. I go in with the Brow Wiz Pencil from ABH in Medium Brown. And then I've been using the Browsing Brow Kit from Benefit Cosmetics in number five. I'm gonna go ahead and do my foundation. And I'm still using this baby right here. This is the Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation from NARS. And I'm in the shade Tahoe. So I'm just gonna apply some of that. Do I wanna put on my sponge or my face? I'm gonna put on my face. I try not to put too much on my forehead because honestly your forehead does not even need that much foundation especially you guys know i say this all the time especially if i'm wearing a frontal which i am today there's no need for a bunch of product buildup up on your forehead i like to mainly just i more so like to focus on bronzing that area i do apply a little bit of concealer to highlight right here but anywhere up here i do not put any foundation i strictly bronze and it just looks so much better anyways it is obviously the perimeter of your face so you're supposed to bronze anyways anyways i'm gonna go ahead and highlight my face this is the concealer i have been using toasted almond from the overachiever concealer from hair beauty is like my perfect concealer right now and it's nice and full coverage because you know although i may not always want a super full coverage full face Honey, I need my full coverage concealer. <laughs> and as full coverage as it is, it is not drying, which I love. And it just makes my skin look so flawless. When I um, highlight my nose to contour, I like to do it after blending out the rest of the products. I feel like if I have concealer on these sides of my nose from being on my under eye, it just is not as structured or I notice my nose contour isn't as snatched. So I'm gonna go ahead and blend that out. I used to blend the concealer on my nose out completely, but you don't wanna do that because if you blend it out completely, your nose isn't gonna be snatched. So I like to blend it out, you know, to where it's blended, but still gives my nose that nice dimension right there. I'm going to go in with some setting powder, and the setting powder I'm using is honestly the one I've been using. I've been obsessed with the setting powder, honestly. It's the Easy Bake Loose Setting Powder from Huda Beauty. It just, it's just perfect. It goes so well for my skin. I do have dry skin, so... A few setting powders that I have used, I don't really like. They're not as flattering for my skin. This one is really, really good if you have dry skin and you still want to be matte. I love that with this powder, I can apply a lot more than I need to and it still doesn't look crazy because it, I don't know, like it just like literally melts right into your, your skin. I'm using the shade Blondie, by the way, because I know I didn't say that. If you aren't new to my channel, you guys know that I used to swear by cream contouring. I have completely swapped out cream contouring with a cream product, obviously, for bronzing or just powder contouring, powder bronzing. Honestly, this is two-in-one for me. I use this as a bronzer and contouring, and this is the Fenty Beauty Sunstalker Bronzer, and I use the shade Caramel Cutie. This is, like, the perfect shade for me. If you saw my review, then, you know, you already knew. And this is the brush I like to use to contour. It gets right in the cheekbones. I don't like my contour or my bronzing to be too sharp as well. So it is angled enough to get right in those cheekbones, but also fluffy enough to kind of spread out the product above my cheekbones and a little bit below. So now I'm going to go ahead and finish working on snatching this nose. A lot of you guys have been commenting on my nose contour, contour, contour in my pictures lately. I've been working on my nose contour. And somebody actually, I think like yesterday or the day before, asked me to film a video on it. And I told her I was filming this video, so I would obviously show you guys how I've been snatching my nose. I just honestly go in with a little bit more product than I used to. You want to connect the, not right up to the beginning of your brow, I mean you can if you want to, but typically the front of your brow all the way down the bridge of your nose that's gonna give you that snatched look. I used to be so scared to apply too much product because even before when I first started doing makeup and YouTube, I was contouring my nose. I was actually double contouring. So I was cream contouring and then setting with powder 
And my nose still wasn't as snatched. Like up here it was sometimes, but down here it would still look kind of big. And my nose isn't even, like I would say it's not that big, but in some photos I'm like, I don't, like why does my nose look like that? And I realized it's because, sis, I was just too scared to like snatch my nose. So now I'm just like going all the way in. It looks really good in pictures. So, and y'all have been saying the same. So I know I'm doing a good job. <laughs> I'm going to go in with some more of that setting powder and just line the bridge of my nose. And then I'm also going to do the middle because I get oily right here. Mad oily. I don't go as crazy with the setting powder below my cheekbones because honestly it's not necessary. Obviously because this is a foundation routine, my eyes aren't going to be as detailed because I mean depending on what I'm in the mood for, what I'm wearing, if I'm taking a picture, a lot of factors obviously. And I always have to apply some product onto my eyes. I'm gonna just apply some setting powder to obviously set it so that it does not crease. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick. I used to actually apply a lot more concealer on my eyelids. Like even for like everyday makeup, if I wasn't doing any eyeshadow and it's honestly so unnecessary, you don't need a lot of product. However, if you're doing like a super dramatic eye, obviously for a base, you want it to be more full coverage, but we're not doing that and I haven't been doing that as of lately. My makeup, style of makeup has just, honestly, I love my glowy lips, especially because I take a lot of pictures now and too much drama on your eyes, too much color, too much, just too much going on in general. It's not that flattering. Um, in my opinion, you know, don't drag me. I mean, I see photos of girls and they got some crazy, dramatic, double wing cut creases going on. And it looks good, but for me personally, I feel the most beautiful with natural, glowy, everyday, neutral eye makeup. That's just me. So, I love doing anything that is soft but warm but still neutral because it's perfect for when I have to take pictures. And it works for both day and nighttime. Daylight, it looks amazing, obviously, and in the nighttime, it's still soft enough and still dramatic enough to just make my face just still look popping. Just to switch it up a little bit, I'm gonna do some shimmer today because um, I think for the past like two weeks I've been keeping it matte or no eyeshadow at all, so let's just do some shimmer today. For an everyday shimmer look, I don't like the gold to be too bronzy or too yellow gold. I like more of a, I prefer more of a champagne gold. Before I get carried away, let me just dust this powder off my face. When I do an all matte eye look, I like to do a winged liner. As of lately, that's been like that look is really pretty. But or I like to line my lash line. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I feel like it just makes my eyes stand out. Alright, so I went ahead and put on my lashes. I'm just gonna quickly go ahead and apply a little bit more bronzer because, you know, I just wanna be a little bit more bronzed. Warm my face up a bit on my forehead. Um, because I have a frontal on, I'm still gonna, of course, apply apply bronzer, but I'm gonna try not to get it on the lace because once you get makeup on the lace, then you just, mm, it's a mess. So, plus I already have no forehead right now, so there's no need to do all of that. I'm going in with the Sephora Micro Smooth Powder in tan and I'm just going to apply that on top of my nose and right here. I never really used to set with like a powder, finishing powder or foundation powder before but it actually does make a difference so I'm like getting into doing that as well. Now I'm going to go ahead and spray my face. Um, unfortunately my favorite spray is done and I totally forgot because I was using an alternative. Yeah, that's that's all I'm getting still. But um, this is the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. This is the best setting spray, well, right now for me. This is the best setting spray. So I have the Mattifying Setting Peach Mist from Too Faced. And I also have the Stay Matte Fix and Go 2-in-1 Primer and Setting Spray from Rommel London. But because I love how this one smells, I'm going to use this one today. Today I'm going to use the new Fenty Beauty one, the Mohoney and Afternoon Snack. And honestly, I actually like both of them a lot, so it's really just whatever I'm in the mood for. I do tend to use Mohoney a little bit more, so I'm going to use that one today. 
I've been really into a more like rosy or rose gold kind of highlight rather than just a straight up yellow gold or true gold or the bronze gold. Um, obviously it always changes its highlight, <laughs> but this is just what I've been loving as of recently. I put a little bit up here as well, not too much because if I have any little blemishes, it obviously enhances it because it's highlight. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do my nose, of course. You guys know the drill, honestly, by now. It's like everybody does the same stuff. <laughs> so, ooh, my nose is like turning me on right now. <laughs> and then you guys know I gotta have my inner corner highlight. Okay, what's a look without inner corner highlights? Not a look. And apply that onto the top half of my inner corner and then i almost forgot to set my brow bone if you know you know i don't like when it starts to get shiny from the concealer so i always gotta set my brow bone i'm probably gonna take pictures today so when i do that i do like to have you know some glow on my brow bone so that especially if i'm taking pictures in the night and obviously you have to use flash sorry guys my camera died <laughs> so i went ahead and fixed my hair put on you know proper clothing and I'm just gonna go ahead and finish up this makeup look so I'm gonna go ahead and set my brow gel what I have been doing lately because I have been remembering that I have a beauty mark right here and obviously it gets covered up with foundation I'm just gonna bring that back I have one here too but like there's no makeup down there so I'm good I actually have like hello Beauty marks. And I honestly really wish I had a beauty mark right here. Or like here somewhere. I think it's so sexy. But anyways. <laughs> um, okay, so I don't know where my lip liner is because I literally used it yesterday. I need to get another brown lip liner because whenever I lose that one, I go crazy because it's my everyday liner. Um, so luckily today I'm not doing anything dramatic with the lips where I need a super deep brown lip liner. So I'm going to use this LA Girl lip liner. Um... And this is in the color Natural Cream. It's like, uh, like you can see it, but it's not doing obviously what I need it to do, like the dark one. But I'm just gonna have to rock with it because I just lost my mind trying to find that lip liner. For my everyday lip, you guys know I either like to do a soft nude or a pinky nude or like a brownish nude or I just like to go in with this lip gloss from Morphe. This is my favorite lip gloss right now. I have been killing this ish. This is their lip gloss in the shade Boho. Whether or not I do a matte lip, I always top it off with the gloss. So uh, today, I don't feel like wearing lipstick. I just want gloss. So <laughs> even if I'm not doing a nude lipstick, if I'm doing a gloss, I love the dimension that brown lip liner gives for me, especially, you know, having really full lips. I'm crying that there's even still some of this left. Luckily, I have a little bit left of nude truffle. You guys remember this? But if you guys watch my older videos, you guys know this used to be the only lip liner I used to only use. Like, still hanging on to Faith. But, so she just came through for your girl, so. Yes. A little bit of brown in on that. Um, I almost forgot to apply some mascara to my bottom lashes so i'm gonna quickly do that lastly i'm gonna go in with some blush i have been loving this one this is the blush kit the radiant blush kit from abh and i just alternate between these two shades right here the ones that go well with my skin tone um i'm just gonna mix them terrace and coastline and apply i love like i'm such a blush girl now which is crazy i used to like i would let blush wear Literally before, I was just like, no, blush is not for me. I put a little bit too much. But before, I was like so intimidated to wear blush. I felt like only like, this is so ignorant, but I felt like only like old people wore blush or like, I don't know. I just, I just wasn't, you know, really the thing, but it's everything. Literally. Yes. Face is beat. <laughs> this time I'm going to use the Rimmel London one. It locks in your makeup, quick dry, oil free, shine control, which I need for this area right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray that. 
This brings us to the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. Also, don't forget to check out the Teamy Blends face mask if you are interested. I will have all the details and the link down below so you guys can find it. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy watching it. Let me know what you guys want to see on my channel for this summer. I do know you guys want to see mainly a lot more vlogs and fashion, but if there's anything else besides those, let me know down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in my next video.